The race for rank one is in full force. Everybody's doing different things right now in order to set themselves up to claim their place at the top of the league. And I'm no different. We ended off yesterday's video as rank five, and it's time to start setting ourselves up for PVM down the line to claim more tasks in the upcoming days. Let's get to it. Today's video is sponsored by Ace Defender. Ace Defender is a very high quality tactical role playing game, which has over 40 chapters and almost 2000 levels, allowing you to use 48 heroes with deep background stories, level them up, combine your heroes and equip gear to create a powerful lineup. There's a game mode for everyone. You can do PVE and explore dungeons and regions and progress your heroes, or you can do PVP if that's more for you and fight against other players from within your server as well as others. If you need something a bit more fast paced, you can also play the game on two times or four times speed, or you can just play it on one time speed if that's more your drift. They just introduced a new hero called Brenda who can deal loads of damage in both PVE and PVP scenarios. This right here is Brenda in action in a 6v6 and as you can see she absolutely destroys the enemy team. She has a lifesteal effect so she can recover health on her own and limit her opponent's damage. She's really really strong. On top of this they also just added a new feature called the Realm of Deities where you can build your own castle, develop your own technology and train your own soldiers to conquer the city. New players that download the game from my link in the description box down below will receive 10 Royal Recruit tickets after completing Chapter 2, Level 8. So go to the description box down below and download Ace Defender for free. You might find a new game you enjoy and downloading it really helps me out a bunch, so thank you. You know you're rich when you could spend 1.2 mil on a 50 point task. <laughs> that is a Gilded Altar which we will never, ever use. But it is a 50 point task, let's go. <laughs> This Mythal Dragon, every time it hits me with something, it gets reflected back the exact amount of damage. Look, it hits me a 7, gets hit a 7. Well, an 11, 22. I swear these used to be easier to kill, but either way, a Mythal Dragon down, 25 points, don't mind if I do. Uh, should we, uh, we'll take the Dragon Bones, I guess. Um, we're now at 2,090. Have I unlocked the Giant Mole yet? They're giving us a bunch of points back anyway tomorrow, so I don't really care. Let's unlock it, it costs 10 points. Okay, and that is Giant Mole completed, which is a 25-point task. Oh, that's a 50-point task, apparently. Oh, I got 10 medium combat achievements done, too. So I'm on 2,140 now. Bro, I've literally killed, like, a 1,000 of these Firewatch Sentinels. Maybe even, like, a 1,500 now. I'm pretty sure the drop rate for a Blood Shard is 1 in 500. Still nothing. I have got 99 strength through doing it, so I'm at 20,265 points. Slayer level's a bit up there, too. And we are boosting some points out of it. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but... I don't know, a Blood Fury is only like 125 points. Probably are only going to need to get it once. It is one of the RNG things, but yeah, it is what it is, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Okay, let's check the health on this Magic Tree, 20,265, up to 20,350. And I just got a Harvesting Fragment out of it, my Certified Farmer, yo. We got another one here, and it's a 50-point toss to uh, dig up some Magic Roots as well. And it is also like a Diary Toss in Falador to dig up three roots, so I'm just going to cut it down here, I think. Another 50 pointer just like that, dig up some magic roots, 20,365. This should be another 50 points for checking a cactus in El Carid. Oh no, just checking a green cactus in general, 20,415. Did you guys know that cactus and potato cactus are different things? Because I didn't, well not, no, I did. Uh, 20,465 league points. Okay, and that should be enough potato cactus for the magic potion toss that I'm about to do in a bit. A hard task completed, make 20 magic potions, shout out the potato cactuses I just got. We just jumped up loads of points from farming, 20,515. And that is make 20 ranging potions, ooh, 75 herbal or two, and 20,565 points. That's receive a slayer, oh, I don't even have to get it, that's so nice. I receive a slayer toss from Mazinaka, or however you say his name, five points. And that is defeat one of Frankenstein's experiments, which was another five points. Just wanted to finish it up quickly while I'm in the area. I need 10 marks of grace to even make the stamina potions for that task, so I'm just going to do some agility anyway, because there is a lot of agility tasks that I'll have to get done anyway. My agility is only at 82, we do need to get it training up here and there. I'm going to get 25 mil agility, there's a bunch of tasks, I have to do like a thousand Brimhaven tickets, 2,000 Apatol laps, have to get the uh, Sepulchre until I get the 630. There's a bunch of shit I have to do, but right now we're just trying to get 3 more marks of grace so we can buy an Amelie's pack. Also, I finally changed my outfit to my uh, Gilmore Games and my actual outfit. You know, pretty drippy. I'm curious, would you guys like, uh, if I ever sold a plushy outfit of this character, would you guys be interested in buying something like that? Like, Settled obviously has his one, Framed had the Bronze Man Mode one, and I think, you know, this this is a pretty good outfit. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that. All right, we've got 10 marks of grace, let's buy some Amelies. And that is make 20 stamina potions, 50 points earned right there. We're almost level 84 Herbler with a boost, so I'm just gonna get that quickly. 
And that is 76 Herblore, which when boosted, boosts me to 84, which is going to let me do another 125 point task. Alright, let's do some magic. I think that's what we call this. 125 league points, just like that. 20,750. Oh, you better believe it, baby. 1,500 viral watches killed. Oh my god, my fan almost just like fell over. That is not good. But I just got myself a blood shard. I can just make myself another fury if I don't want to waste the charges. I just want the points, bro. You know how it is. Consume that stuff. And we should get 125 league points out of that. 20,875. Okay, I'm up to some creepy creations right now. Just made myself uh, I oh, Icy Basalt. Fuck if I know, bro, but it's another 50 league points to teleport using it. Let's go. Okay, what is this going to get me? 70 league points? Maybe two medium tasks. Check a grown free, check a grown papaya tree in Gnome Stronghold. Oh, that's 50 league points. 20,975. Check the health on this, which is another 50 league points for checking a palm tree. Putting me at 21,025 points back at rank 5 for now. I just assigned myself a, what's it called? A blood fill dust real quick. Got myself 25 league points. 21,050. I'm unlocking Barrow's Goals right now just to be efficient. I just did Evil Dave, now let's do the Lumber's Guide. Oh, I have to do Witch's House. As if, dude. Do I even have a cheese? Probably not. Alright, that's Witch's House done, so we got some uh, HP XP now. Okay, this is the last person freed, and then we just have to do the boss fights, and then we have Barrow's Gloves. Alright, no idea what this geezer can hit, but I think we're chilling. Let's go buy ourselves some Barrow's Gloves. He's getting like one hit. Yep, and now I'm just gonna go assign myself some Ogres. Ogres, Hill Giants, and I'm going to go work on getting my Defender, and it also should work towards getting me 99 Attack and 120 Combat, which are both 125 point tasks. And let's use this Lamp on Herblore. 320k. 78 Herblore, just like that. Okay, this place is super packed. I've been having to throw black knives at uh, my thingies to get it, but that has 125 lead points right there from reaching Combat level 120. I've literally been throwing knives to tag the Hill Giants quicker than people, but I'm now at 21,175 lead points. And this is a medium clue scroll, giving me 50 league points, gaining a unique item, putting me at 21,225 league points, and putting me as rank 4 on the league points leaderboard for the first ever time. Spoonfed? Nope. Wait, wait, wait! I just got the enhanced crystal weapon seed! I am spoonfed! What?! I just got the enhanced crystal weapon seed! What?! I just got the bofa. Are you one of the 100% of the people who wish this was their drop? Yeah, you probably are. But are you part of the 40% of the people who are watching right now but aren't yet subscribed? God, I fucking hope not. Check real quick down below if you're subbed and hit that button if you're not because it's the best way to support me and grow my channel during this longest leagues grind. Thank you guys once again. It means the world to me. Crystal Armor Seed. Okay, that's my, second, that's my second Crystal Armor Seed. Two out of six. Bro, I'm actually getting really lucky. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm only 5kc in and I have two Armor Seeds and the Bofa. I literally only need four left. Alright, 6kc, what do you have for us, Mr. Gauntlet of the Corrupted Variety? Crystal Armor Seed, oh my god. Dude, I've gotten three Crystal Armor Seeds in 6kc and the Bofa. I only need three more. I literally only need three more. And I just got a Combat Fragment. The Superior Tracking, oh my god, bro. That is for Superiors. I'm already 99 Slay and stuff, so that's not as huge as the Armor Seeds. But three Armor Seeds in 6kc. I, I only need three more Seeds. Is there any chance we get four in seven? There's no chance, right? No chance. <laughs> okay, I'm too excited about this Bofa. I just want to make it now. I'm not even going to use it now, but I just want to make it. I don't know. Uh, not the blow of sal not the blade of Saldor. One bow of Far Fardinian. The Bofa D's nuts. I'm also just going to make uh, one of the crystal pieces, I guess. 80 smithing off that too. Cool. Uh, let's make the crystal legs. Look at me go. 9kc can we get another spoon please combat fragment though i just got the living on a prayer fragment what does that do i got something else earlier too let me see what i got I already have a relic that restores my prayer yeah pray or uh, divine restoration so i've got all three prayer relics now um what else did i get earlier today i got superior tracking for superiors i got superior tracking for superiors and then earlier i got this guy's laughing just because i got uh, all these all this shit in 9kc fair enough dude i would be laughing too well i am laughing too i find it hilarious but People might not find it that hilarious. What else did I get? I got those two earlier. Um, and then I got something else, but I can't actually remember what it was. Okay, 10kc. That was very, very troublesome. Very, very troublesome. That's 11kc. I just unlocked the larger recharger fragment. What does that do? 
Larger recharger, faster special attack restoration. Damn it, crystal weapon seed. It's the same drop rate as a crystal armor seed. Obviously, can't complain too much. We're getting very, very lucky. Living on a prayer fragment, too. Crystal armor seed four, uh, three? Four. Crystal armor seed four, bro. At, uh, 15 KC. Oh my god, I only need two more to complete it. I'm at 15 KC. I literally only need two more to complete it. I just got another crystal armor seed. Another crystal armor seed. No way, dude. I am at... I'm at 19 KC, and I have five out of six crystal armor seeds. I literally just need one more, and I'm done with Gauntlet. Maz, you're gonna hate me, bro. 20 KC. Didn't complete it. Damn it, bro. 507. 507. I was so close to the speedrun task. Damn it. Oh, thank God, bro. We completed the master task. Finally, 441. I've gone so close so many times. Can we finish the set in, in one go? Oh, that would have been amazing, but we got it. Th thankfully, we got it in 441. God damn. Master task done. We're now at 21,475 points. Crystal weapon seed. Damn, damn. Fair enough. We'll take it, you know. We'll take it. We're on uh, what, KC 26 now. Crystal weapon seed. Damn it, bro. Damn it. That's the same drop rate as the crystal armor seed, obviously. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Crystal armor seed. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so sorry to everyone watching this video. I'm actually so sorry to all you guys watching this video. 41 KC and I have finished CG. I have full crystal. I don't even know what to say, bro. The, the, the gods have spooned me and I'm so happy for it, bro. After I went 600 dry on armor last season, I think I deserve some, some RNG. And at a place I've never done before, I'll take it. Crystal body. Oh my god, look at us, bro. Look at us go. Full crystal, both of these nuts, 125 league points for a clip and a full crystal armor set. I will absolutely take that. So Jax just did an update where they made the game easier, and I actually did a task earlier. I stole a bunch of artifacts, and they made the task for that, like, you need to, to steal less, basically, to complete the hard and elite task. So I just got a free 175 league points, and I got, like, three, I got 320 sages renowned refunded back to me because a lot of people were complaining, so Jax made it a little bit easier. I don't really care, to be honest. That just means I get more points. It means I have more renown. There's no way I'm even going to be able to spend all of this, but yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just skipping a Slayer task so I can assign myself to Zars and go do the Jad uh, speedrun. Let's see this new gear in action. If we can complete the fight caves in under 25 minutes, we get a 250 point toss for that and 125 points for completing it in under 35 minutes. Can we do it? Let's find out. Another day, another day. That's just the way the crumble cookies. We were 20 seconds too slow to get the master task for 250 points. But as you can see, that gear was incredibly busted. The only reason we didn't get the task was because I was using a thing to show me the spawns and it glitched out like four waves in. So I was just doing the waves blind and I wasted a lot of time looking for the monsters. But it doesn't matter. Tomorrow, we're going to rack up the pvm we're gonna do a bunch of pvm with this new bow it's best in slot almost everywhere so i highly recommend you guys are subscribed to make sure you see that if you guys have enjoyed the video leave a like as always and i will see you guys later thank you guys so much for watching you guys have been amazing this leagues and i'll continue to keep grinding for you